going on Jordan back with a video welcome to my channel if you're new welcome back if you're returning five reasons why you're not manifesting so I've been doing law of attraction videos for quite a while now and I've talked about the reasons why certain people have a hard time using the law of attraction and why it's not working for them so I gave it a little thought and I thought about some more reasons more relevant reasons why people have a hard time manifesting their certain dreams or desires that they have why it is hard for them to manifest or use the law of attraction so here are five capable reasons why it's hard to use the law of attraction okay the first reason why it's hard to use the law of attraction or to manifest what you want is because you are in a lower vibration. You are vibrating super low. When you're vibrating low, it is hard to attract things that you desire and that you really want. It is hard to attract positive things because you are at a very, very, very low vibration. So in order for the law of attraction to work for you, in order for you to manifest your dreams or desires or whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, your vibration has to be high. It doesn't have to be super, super, super high, but it has to be high enough for it to work in your favor, whatever you're trying to manifest. Like, if you're vibrating at a lower level, it's going to be super hard for your for the law of attraction to work for you, and you won't be manifesting much. You'll be manifesting, but it won't be you won't be manifesting the things that you desire, the things that you want the most. So before you manifest your desires, try to work on your vibration, like do things that make you happy. Spend time with people that love and support you. Watch positive content. People that inspire you and motivate you to become your greatest version and to extend to the higher levels because you are a star and you can and you came here to shine your light. Second reason why it's hard for you to manifest is because you're too attached to the outcome. You're worried about how it's going to happen. You're not trusting the process and You're operating in fear instead of excitement and love. When you're operating in fear, that's operating at a very low vibration, which is taking me back to number one. In order to manifest, you have to learn to chill and relax and not to worry how your manifestation or whatever you're trying to manifest comes to you. It'll come to you natural. The first thing you got to do is visualize it see yourself having it feel it touch it smell it by putting your hands over your heart and then after you visualize it release it and just chill the way to chill and to let go of worrying about how it's going to come to you Chill by meditating, listening to music, watching your favorite Instagram or YouTube star, talking to someone that you love, like your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever it is that you're involved with, whoever it is that you get along with. Do things that relax you, like draw, paint, listen to music, whatever it is that you like to do. Do that to relax and to let go of the outcome. Play a video game or something. Video games take your minds off of things that you're trying to accomplish. Video games usually distract the mind from focusing on worries and stress and all that. So a video game would be a good option to take your mind off what you're trying to manifest. Third reason why you're not manifesting because you're not taking action. You're not doing, you're not taking the necessary skills to do what you need to do in order for it to work. 
Like a lot of us, I used to have this problem too. A lot of us was to just sit there and think about what we want to do, but have trouble taking the necessary action and skills to make the dream manifest or come into reality. In order for your manifestation to come to you, sometimes you have to take action and put in some work in order to make it manifest or to come to you into your fruition. So start taking the necessary skills, start taking action, start doing the work that you need to do in order for your dream or goal to be achieved. You don't got to work super hard to stress yourself out, but just put in some type of work, take some type of action, put in some type of monetary work into what you're trying to achieve. Like if you're trying to start an online business, start taking the necessary steps to bring that into fruition. Like if you're trying to brand market yourself, get a camera or use your, use your phone to film yourself and email market yourself to different social, through social media and different platforms and make a professional video to attract customers to your business if that's what you're trying to do. Whatever it is that you're trying to do, take action on the things that you want to manifest and you'll see it with a clear eye view. It doesn't mean you're going to get immediate results right away, but you are going to get results for putting in the work. Like you may not see immediate results, but if you keep at it, if you keep going and not give up, you'll eventually get what you want. And the fourth reason is the why you're not manifesting is you're overthinking too much. You're overthinking about the past or what just happened to you, things that you can't control. You overthink a lot. Overthinking stresses you out and it puts you, it has you vibrating in fear and worry and stress. By overthinking about the process, Sess, and just not relaxing, you're overthinking about too many things like you got to learn to relax your mind and you can do that by listening to 432 hertz or writing your journal like what is bothering you the, the way to release overthinking is to journal write in your notebook journal and write down what's bothering you and I promise you that will Cure, stop your overthinking. Journaling is a good way to clear overthinking. And reason number five. What is reason number five? Holding on to grudges. Remembering past trauma. Thinking about past trauma from your past. The reason why you can't use the law of attraction or have trouble using the law of attraction and your manifestation isn't coming because you're holding on to past traumas and grudges from your past. Like maybe someone said something mean to you. Maybe someone stole your cupcake. Maybe someone called you names, bullied you, say that you were, you were worthless and not worth the time of day or that you would never amount to anything. I don't know. Whatever bad or mean thing that they did to you, you're still thinking about it to this day and it makes you mad every time you think about that person. The way to release trauma and grudges is to forgive the person. You're not forgiving them for them. You're forgiving them for yourself because holding on to trauma and hate and grudges against the other person is not going to do you any favor. They probably don't remember what they did to you and probably don't care. They probably don't care. They're too busy living their life, having fun, doing what they need to do. But you're holding on to grudges, wishing hate on them, and all you're doing is creating karma for yourself. You have to release that energy. You have to release 
grudges. Stop holding on to hate. If someone did something mean to you, forgive them, let it go and release it. You're giving them for yourself, not for you. That way, once you forgive, you don't have to worry about overthinking it. You don't have to worry about dealing with past trauma anymore. And you won't be sending any karma to you. You won't have to experience any karmic situations. So yes, release grudges and forgive. And also forgive yourself for not believing and loving yourself. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good night. And remember, you can manifest anything that you want. You just got to believe, relax, and let the universe do its magic. All right, y'all. Bye.